in your experience as an officer, why don't police say anything when they see something like that I spent, happening? I, I spent 27 years on the Philadelphia Police Department. It takes courage to stand up. It takes courage to stand up and stop the nonsense. It takes courage. You got to know who you are as a person, that this job that you got, if they somehow get to you, you can do something else other than do this job. So it takes courage to stand up. A lot of a lot of cops, some people, this may be the most money they ever made in their life. And so therefore they be they rather say, I didn't see nothing, I don't want no trouble. Well then trouble should be on you because you are African American. Whether you're African American or not, let me take that back. If you want to be a law abiding citizen, if you want to be a police officer sworn to protect, then your job is to pull out, call out, stand up against those who take this institution for granted and do wrong to the community in our neighborhoods or in our community at large. I'm saying this. I'm black first. I wore a blue uniform. I wear black. Some people wear black uniforms. But I'm black first. I'm a human being. And when people in law enforcement treat human beings in that manner, they should be gone. And I'm saying this to all of them. None of that is right. But we've been crying out about this for such a long time. Look, this is not new, what's been going on. We now got videos, and now they say, don't believe your lying eyes to some of the videos. And so now we got a nationwide protest. Protest is in our DNA. We had to protest to get here where we are today. We need to keep protesting until we have equality and fair treatment under the law, like our Constitution says it's supposed to be. So let, 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 let them boys, bye Felicia, let them go.